Hi, I wanted to talk about something that I think personally is critical if you work for yourself for you to be able to expand your business and also get a reputation that is kind of beyond measure and it's one of the ways that I've built my business and I've moved a lot. I've moved interstate a lot in the one country but I've moved a lot and I've had to start again from scratch countless times. So it's something that I've done to build a business really bit, really quickly in a couple of months but more importantly a reputation uh, which is what your business is going to be built on when you stay there for a while and that is that the power of networking when you think about it every single person that you know probably knows 500 to a thousand people now you can go directly to your friends and family and ask them you know who do you know that I could help with this business that I'm doing and go down that avenue absolutely for sure uh, but if one you want to learn and two you want to get to know other fantastic practitioners or like-minded healthy people in the area if you've got a health business or like-minded individuals in any business when you move to an area and I do think that there is enough business for everybody and we can all help our clients at the end of the day and we don't need to worry too much about competition because if you are scared of competition you probably won't do the reaching out task of networking but I do think it's critical and you never ever can judge or know where it's going to lead I can't tell you the number of amazing people that I've gotten to meet from doing this and some of them have ended up being my best mates um, if you're watching this high and one of the things that I do want to mention is that I, it's critical when you're doing it to actually approach it from the perspective of helping that person or helping that person's business because no matter what business you're in we are in the business of helping customers and there's an old saying I, I think maybe Zig Ziglar started it and it goes you'll get what you want if you help other people get what they want so always be helping other people get what they want but don't be networking say for example in my industry personal training we might network with other health practitioners and <laughs> they might go into the health practitioner's clinic or whatever and expect that a massage therapist or a physio or a chiro or somebody is going to give you business that's not going to happen the reason behind you networking is so that you can send your clients there and also so you can learn from those other practitioners it has been the fastest way for me to learn even though i've spent i don't know probably eighty thousand dollars on courses in the last 20 years it has also helped me know who the good practitioners are to send my clients to other places so that the client can get results because remember at the end of the day that's what we're in business for is to help the clients get their results I'm going to talk more and more about networking in my upcoming videos because I'm so passionate about it and I I know it's outside the comfort zone for a lot of people and trust me like it's outside my comfort zone too but you can't grow your business or yourself and if you work for yourself you have to grow yourself too and it won't grow unless you are willing to step outside the comfort zone so who could you contact today to I don't know you, you never know what friends you're going to end up with when you do it anyway um, everybody is scared everybody feels timid no matter who they are no matter if they're a surgeon or they don't have much time if they're a doctor or they're a chiropractor or they're another personal trainer or they're a massage therapist everyone's coming from the same base so don't worry you're not original with your fears have an awesome weekend and get out there and spread your message and network